Wa. 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 Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Bone Pit. I'm your host, Bone Score, and today, today we're playing some Okami. That's right. We're playing some Okami, and we left off yesterday, uh, like at the beginning of the Gale Shrine, I think. We'd like just picked up wind, and now we can use wind to move things that are movable with wind. Wind. I don't know, it just sounded weird in the mouth there. Uh, so we're going to be going through, doing some puzzles, and other things, I guess. I don't know. We're just going to play the game and have a good time with it, see how far we can get. I don't think there's anything to announce or to talk about today. Um, before we get in, I will say before we get in, though, that um, I am not mentally tired, but like physically tired today. And we'll see if that catches up to my brain while we're doing this. Um, but yeah. It was a nice, bright, sunny, warm day out, so I took my skates over to the tennis court and was wheeling around, getting used to the turns and everything, um, but that was hot and draining, um, and it kind of hurt my leg where, where the sciatica is. It really exacerbated that, but I'm going to take that as a good sign, um, I think what it is is, like, the muscles that I need to use for some of those turns and everything are, like, right where the nerve, like, pinches. Um, right where it's, you know, in pain. Uh, so, you know, just the, the exertion on that spot um, this is not a great combination. But hopefully by getting out more and, and doing it, I will... Uh, Get rid of the sciatica. Or at least cause it to subside. You know, one of the two. Either way, forewarning for um, possible sudden tap out later. <laughs> if if I if if my battery just suddenly hits zero. Uh, that is why. Um, so yeah. I don't think we got anything to announce, so let's just plug real quick and roll in, shall we? Art goes on Instagram and Twitter. I'm on Twitch every day around 4 p.m. Eastern doing whatever's on the schedule, which is usually video games or art, whatever. Check it out, right? Why not? Check out the archive on YouTube where the past stuff goes. Check out the sub button on the Twitch page, which has badges, emotes, a Discord behind it. Discord's a cool place. Monthly events, first Saturday of every month. And also, there's a merch store now at the bottom of the About section there. Check it out. Click on the big icon. Check out some t-shirts and whatnot, right? Why not? Why not? Write me a three-page essay as to why not. Or you could just buy a t-shirt. You know, one of the two. Either way. You need to see a video game, right? <clears throat> there it is. You guys can see the video game. I can't, though. That's the one advantage you have over me right now. Oh, see, now we're on an even playing field. I can see it. You had an advantage, but you wasted it. Way to go, chat. Should have been more quick to jump on it. Okay, continue. Oh, Kami. I like that. A lot of really nice sounds and just audio in this. Whoever did the audio design for this game was really good at their job. You guys ever, like, watch something or play a game or whatever and you're like, this is okay. This is like middling to mediocre, whatever, right? 
But the audio, just the absolute sound of it all. Like, I remember watching through Naruto and thinking, like, man, like, some of these fillers are just awful. Some of this, uh, some of these animations aren't, aren't all that great, you know? The budget's clearly not there in a few places. But god damn was the audio always on point. Whoever did the music for that is just really, really great at what they do. Stop messing around, you gotta send the wind towards the windmill. Oh! So... Like that. Okay. Duh. I know how air works. I'm familiar with wind currents. Shut up. Uh... Wait. Uh... Shit, I keep... There we go. I keep forgetting what direction to go in and where you get to start. Okay, there we go. Boom. You obtained brush tips. And there are these, like... <laughs> it's too bad we don't get brush tips. Right? Like... Like a, like a fan brush or a... Or a forked brush, or, or like an angle, or something, you know? Sumie does use mostly the same, like the rounds, but I have seen, um, like a fan brush, uh, a square, or like, or like a bright, I guess, like a small one, um, and, uh, the hockey brush, like the nice big wide ones. <clears throat> so it wouldn't be unreasonable uh, this is not what I wanted I've been thinking about going to the dollar store and picking up is it move list no it shouldn't be here travel guide travel guide um, thinking about going into like the makeup section at the dollar store and picking up like a whole bunch of weird looking makeup brushes because they have a ton of them there and just seeing what they do for watercolors and how they uh, how they spread paint on the paper, I think that'd be really cool. Do like a if I could get like another camera setup or something, that might be a nice uh, IRL art stream, or I could do like a like a video of it somehow. I don't know. <clears throat> Brush is guided by a divine hand. See the holy smoke that sometimes erupts from the brush tip? Different colors represent the element of the subjects involved. Holy smoke offers a vital clue. <laughs> holy smoke. Uh, offers a vital clue and allows you to act on instinct. Yeah, because you're too high to think about things. You can draw thicker lines than usual with triangle, although why you would do that, I don't know. Comes in handy when filling large areas with ink. But that's not all. The size of the objects drawn affects their power. <clears throat> For example, smaller cherry bombs appear farther away. While those drawn much larger are closer. Drawing from above makes it easier to place them where you would like. Also, Gale Storm's power is directly affected by the drawing size. Huh. Worry not, as the size does not affect the amount of ink consumed. Careful use of the celestial brush techniques, based on the circumstance, is what separates experts from amateurs. See, now, they say that. But I recall before that, like... Like, a long stroke is gonna take out... Oh no, it does take the same amount, doesn't it? Huh. I thought it was more efficient before to get, like, multiple short strokes. 
but I guess not. <clears throat> I think that might be for, um, like, utility purposes. Like, if you... Um, if, if you're just trying to, like, cut the strings on the, the Red Imps Biwa loot or whatever it is. At least the Shamison, doesn't he? No. No, it's rounded. It might be a Biwa loot. I don't know. Either way, whatever he fucking plays, you gotta, like, cut the strings on it to open up his guard. Um, that would be something where you just need, like, a quick cut instead of a big, huge slash. <clears throat> Those massive hanging scrolls look like they're enjoying that wind brought back to life. But be careful, it'll blow us away if it gets much stronger. Okay. So, just don't use the wind up here? That sounds easy enough. Or is that exactly what I want to happen? Damn it. <clears throat> Is it gonna... Nope, that didn't do shit. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna get over there. Uh, I could... Try this. Just bring me all the way over like that. There was like no grace to that or anything. It was basically just a drag and drop. See, th that one had like a leap or like it pulled me up and then over. That other one was just like, move it over and, and you're good. Damn it. It seems like I constantly, like, put the brush down, and then it's in the wrong spot. <clears throat> what do we have here? Infinity Stone. Nice. Uh, there's a chest down there. What about... Is that, is that it? Is there a door on the bottom over there? Or am I supposed to actually just climb all the way up here? And go across somehow? <clears throat> Either way, let's, let's get this thing on the floor. Go... Hey! Yeah, so that's not a door, huh? Right, okay. That doesn't open. Hmm. <clears throat> There's nothing back there. What about these? Look at them hanging scrolls just begging for some wind. Make them flutter for a huge gust of wind. Or with a huge gust of wind. Is that... Is that not good enough? Hold on. Let's try it in this direction. Because, like, 3D space. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. That's how you're supposed to do that. Nope. That was not correct to do. I see what it wants now, though. The puzzle's easy to figure out. So, let me start... with this. Uh, 
lacquerware. Uh... Ooh, okay. So, big gust, right? Yeah, platforming. Oh, shit! Yeah. Just, just like that. Why can't I? No. No, drag it to the puppy. I'm right here in the foreground. Why can't you? Oh, man. Hey, you know, I wonder what the vine thing is like when you draw with a thicker line. It's the same. It appears to be exactly the same. Wind. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you really gotta, like, hold forward and commit to it. I'm worried about jumping, like, over. But I guess my, um, depth perception is off there. Okay, let's do this again. And go over very quickly. Yeah, okay. That was a bigger gap, so... Or it looked bigger. So the commitment was a little bit easier. Okay. Yeah, thank Christ they have a save point right here. <laughs> uh, and we'll just save over this one. Because <clears throat> we've gone through, like, one room... Uh, let's see. Feed. Oh, the rats. Oh, man. Gross. Gross. Don't even, don't even look at the video, the animation. Cool cutscene. Fucking rodents. Alright, what the hell? Some major heat right there. Let's blow this fire out. Before you're well done and ready to serve. Oh. Go, 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 go. Oh, man. Yeah, I knew it. Fucking knew it. All right. Fucking Wimdy. Alright, what do we... Ooh. Well, I don't see a door up there, so I guess this is the end of the thingum. Look at that. It's a big collection of balls, it seems. You see that? It's some kind of crystal. Looks like a berry or something. Oh, yeah, kind of. It's like an upturned grape or something. I bet it's the serpent crystal for dispelling Orochi's barrier. You know, the item that Waka guy was searching for. We found it. Cool. Oh, it was getting really hype. Really, really, really hype. And then it just got like... It just slowed down out of nowhere. It's fucking with my expectations. Oh no! My controller vibrated off the fucking desk. Crimson Helmet! That's him! Log Nugget's here. Welcome, buddy. Welcome, how are you? Hope all is good. Hope all is, is well. Good, rid good riddance of this place? Yeah, this place sucks. <laughs> it's not great. Don't like this village. 
If you want good music like this, just watch One Piece of Water Water. It has some dope music. The guitar they use is really cool. You'll have to, um... I'll have to see what that's like on the on the binge watch of the dub whenever that comes out. Because God knows there's no way I'm going to be able to take that in on the on the sub when at the rate we watch it. You psych yourself up for this one. He does. He is not so tough. Look at that. We have the, we have the rainbow balls. Aren't these the Satomi power? Or that, why are you surprised? Like you knew that they they chose Amy as the new user holder, whatever. <clears throat> All right, what is your damage? So he's like a centaur. Oh, I don't have. Ink bullet with this. Big tree, no? Big tree. I said big fucking tree. Why isn't it planting a tree? Why won't it plant a tree? This is fucking horse shit. Yeah, no, that's not. It's not working the way I wanted it to. Alright, let's try and... No, that didn't do anything. Uh... Oh. Oh, here we go. You hammer on him until his armor comes off. And then blow away the wind. And slash at him. Get out of here. Are the Satomi power orbs breaking as I take hits? I think they are. Oh. <clears throat> so you just like. Blow away his fire. Smash off his armor, I guess. Oh, damn. Yeah, not an overly complicated fight. Let's just... Get that going. <clears throat> and move. Bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Dodge. Man, this guy is, like, nothing compared to a Souls boss. Like, he, he's big, like, one. But he ain't got shit on, like, any of them. I say as I've taken, like, so many hits, I'm down to two, two fucking shields. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, and there's his body. Let's get a big gust going. And a really big bomb. Let's get another one going. <clears throat> oh, damn. Well, I guess I'm going to start taking hits now.
<laughs> Get him in the fucking face. Oh. Get rid of his fire. Smashes shit. How about a big old bomb in your face? Yeah, how about it? Get rid of his health. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Geishas have instruments that sound really good. This guy find the dildo we were looking at? And did I order it? <laughs> no, I... I did not order the bun dildo that we were looking at yesterday. Um... I did happen to find the place that sells it, though. Um... And there's some fucking hilarious shit... There, like... Like, they, they have pictures of the back of the box, and there's fucking, like, safety hazard warnings on that thing, like, uh, warning choking hazard. Like, like, are you, like, are you for real? Like, who the fuck tried to swallow that? My god. There's some other really funny shit on that website, though. Fucking, um, like, butt plugs painted up like clowns. There's... <laughs> There's some sort of, like, thorned crucifix dildo? For slaying vampire pussy, I guess? I don't know. But I took one look at that and was like, oh my god, that... <laughs> I know so... Many ladies that would uh, uh, that would look at that and be like, "Hmm, hmm, yeah, that's the one." It hits all of the the weird horror alt buttons. All the the weird like engravings on it, and just like ugh. The- the bun dildo, though, is still just, like... Like a hilarious concept. Like, it's fucking insane. Who would- who would do that? Who would make such a thing? And... Oh, no, I screwed that one up. Try it again, Zeus, no. Do you, you think you can defeat me? Oh, no. He's gonna get all of them, I think. Oh, I got it. But it... <laughs> but I didn't get it on the thing. Log next to, oh yeah, by the way, I realized today that Willy Wonka in the newest one is the guy who has been in court recently. I... <laughs> okay. Alright. Um... Good job for getting caught up, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to say to that. Like, yeah, that's, that's Johnny Depp. The same Johnny Depp. He's uh I don't know, he's he's a he's a man of faces that one. Many, some, I don't know, oh, I don't know, who knows. He's a man of faces though. I will admit though, um to your credit, he does look 
rather different in that one. Like, when I picture Johnny Depp, I usually tend to picture, um, Jack Sparrow or What's-His-Face from Fear and Loathing. Um, which is funny because the guy from Fear and Loathing is, like, an actual real person. Like, the character that he, uh, he played was based on a real dude that he went and, like, shadowed for for a while and like got to know like his mannerisms and the way he acted and everything um so like it's it i just i find it funny that like my brain goes there when i think of johnny depp because that's like a, a whole other person entirely um but it's also kind of funny like he whenever Whenever I've seen, like, pictures of him in real life recently, he looks more and more like Sparrow than, than like, he ever did before, I think. Seems to, like, be leaning into that, uh... Seems to be leaning into that look a little bit, I think. More wind, he says. Now you're talking? Wait, there's more! Behold, the secret technique, Wind of Wrath, oh! This fight was really cool until Susano showed up. Look at him with his ass hanging out. Now I'm positive. This is not my doing. Yeah, no shit. It's the gods, they toy with me. Will you never stop mocking me? Well, you do it to yourself by putting you, yourself in these situations, man. Why must I bear this burden of being Nagi's descendant? All I wish is to live in peace. You're the one who... F you're the one who goes around being like, I'm Nagi's descendant. I'm good. I'm so cool. Look at my sword. And then he's like, oh no. Oh, it's, well, what a curse. It's awful, this life that I created for myself by riding the coattails of my ancestor. This whole world can fall to ruin as far as I'm concerned. Wow. Enough of these legends and Nagi's descendant stuff. Now just leave. What are you even talking about? Enough of my own charade. I'm tired of my own facade that I've been putting up. Basically, my whole life, I would assume. Despite the fact that Suzano has, like, thick facial hair, you know, the chest curlies, the thick curly arm hair, um, and is gotta be, like, what, like, six feet tall, something like that, uh, we can probably assume that because this is a Japanese game, he's, like, what, 16 at most? <laughs> we, can, we can assume... Because that's just how they do... Yeah, Susano, perfectly average 16-year-old. He, he's probably in the same class as Jotaro. He'll go on to be uh, also a marine biologist. <laughs> Fucking Jotaro, like... Why? Why a marine... Like, how does that fit Jotaro at all? It makes no sense. Although Jotaro basically has no personality. His personality is, I'm going to stand there with my hands in my pockets. And then I'm going to light up a smoke and I'm going to go, hey. Fuck you, bud. And, and then just stand there while my ghost punches you. He doesn't really have much going on. Jotaro might as well be a pillar man. Let's be real. Like, if all he's gonna do is pose and punch people... 
and complain. All all Jotaro seems to do when he talks is is complain about how shitty thing about how it's a drag. I mean, I mean he'd, he'd fit in with the Pillar Man very well. Them and their disdain for humanity and, and their culture. Oh, hey, cool! Sick, awesome, nice. You don't watch that anime? Oh, you're missing out, man. You're missing out. Hell, JoJo is older than One Piece, I think. Oh, am I interrupting something? It's this guy. Uh, Log Nug, is it to me? Johnny Depp looks like a person who's never outside and who really needs a new haircut. I mean, I don't know what he's been, what's been going on with him, but I think, <clears throat> I think he's been having a rough time lately. Um, I think the woman that he's in court with, um, I think is like abusive. He's he's been in a, a relationship with her, and she's been like abusive towards him or whatever. So, um, it wouldn't surprise me if he looks like he's not doing too well. As far that's what I've heard from from people. Uh, I've not done reading into it or anything because uh, celebrity gossip is not something I give a shit about. Uh, is one of those unstable people who could murder anyway? Oh God, you! Oh, you know absolutely nothing about him, then. The. Uh, Andy Day and not his normal person. I meant the character he plays in Willy Wonka. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. I was gonna, I was gonna say you think Johnny Depp's like a weird, unhinged murderer guy? Because that's kind of like the exact opposite of what's uh, what's coming out with this whole court case thing. Um, <laughs> if he's he's got like droves of people coming out and being like, Nah, man, he's he's cool. Like. Known him my whole life. This guy's cool. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, his uh, his Willy Wonka character, though, yeah, no, he looks, like, super unhinged. Um, <clears throat> super unhinged, yeah. Uh, although, uh, what was... I can't remember the name. I can never remember the guy. Uh, was it Gene Walsh? Who played the uh, the old Willy Wonka? <clears throat> he uh, he also seemed rather like unhinged and unbalanced in that one. But that was kind of the whole deal, right? Um, really cool note. Uh, the first um, or the the old Willy Wonka with it's not Gene Walsh, it's Gene Wilder, isn't it? Gene Wilder? Gene Wilder, yeah. Who's Gene Walsh? Is that a real person? Vet of NBC PR department. Oh, I don't know who the hell that is. Gene Wilder, that's that's the guy. Yeah, um. Uh that scene from from the old Willy Wonka where they go in the tunnel on the boat and like the lights are flashing and they've got the weird images projected on the walls and Gene starts doing that weird monologue uh, uh, about like nightmares or some shit um they didn't tell anybody else in the cast about that like they thought that they were just get getting on the boat and going for a ride down the tunnel they didn't know about the effects and about Gene getting all creepy and weird with it, right? Uh, so, like, they're, like, scared and confused reactions uh, that you see on film there are 100% genuine. They, they, sk they actually scared the cast by not telling them, like, what was in the script or whatever. Uh, 
to get like a, a legit reaction out of them, which is really cool um, from like a filmmaker's perspective and everything. Um, but it's also like uh, like a like a prime example of the mentality of the filmmaking process for that particular movie, where it's like we want certain things to be scary, right? We want certain things to... We want Gene to have that smile that is friendly, but also really creepy. And and you're not sure that you want to shake his hand. I think the same thing happened um, at the beginning when he comes out on the cane and he trips and he tumbles and and everybody's like, Oh my god, is he okay? Same thing. I don't think they told people about that. I think like he they sent him out and he did the tumble and people were actually concerned for him. And and he got up and and you know like that was what they caught on camera. So Waka's stealing the fruit and he's like, "I'll meet you at the barrier by the moon cave. Let's go do a cool thing." You calling me big boy? Oh, keep your scales on, I'm coming. <laughs> and off he goes in a glittery jump. Uh, I do prefer the new Willy Wonka, he's just cooler to me. Grew up with that movie first. That's a weird disconnect, man. That's, man, I, f I always fucking forget about the generational gap where people in the chat are like, yeah, no, nah, this, this is a part of my childhood. And I'm like, oh my God, that, that came out like, like so recently. What do you, oh no. There was a, I, I had one of those like. You know that Lisa Simpson meme where she's just like, just like staring at the fucking table and like I, uh, like like she's just so fucking shook. I can't I can't like describe the emotion she's displaying, but like she's just so fucking rattled at the at the breakfast table. Um, I had one of those moments uh, the other day coming across a meme that was, um, it was, it, it was, uh, I, I can't remember who, who the person was, but it, the text was saying, um, when I think about 10 years ago, I, my brain goes to the nineties, not to 2003. And I had to stare at that for a minute and go, that's not right. No, because cause that implies that the 90s were 20 years ago. But it's almost 2023. That meme is 10 years old and the 90s were like 30 years ago. It was like a fucking out of body experience as I like watched my own timeline like focus into place like oh that's that's how long I've been out huh it's how long this package has been minted way too long <laughs> it's like I don't even have a problem like it's it's not me getting older that I have, like, an issue with that, like, makes me uncomfortable or, or whatever. Um, it's the progression of time. It's, it's, like, I don't care that I'm, like, reaching my 30s. Uh, I care that, like, the 90s were, like, 30 years ago. Like, that's... That's upsetting. That, that generational, or, or just that... That whole period of time being just farther and farther and farther away, you know, it's like, it just feels like it's get, it's like harder and harder to 
I don't know, get back to to certain things. There, there's some things like uh, like I'm watching Air Gear now, and I'm like I'm listening to the music, and I'm looking at like the the clothing styles and everything, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, '90s like style was bumping. That was that was some shit. And it's like how 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 long does that have to like how long do we have to let it age before it cycles back in right because like i've seen people like the hipsters are now dressing like in the in the slacks with the suspenders and the like the wool vests over the nice shirts and and it's like okay you're you're dressing like it's the 20s or the 30s or whatever, right? Fashion has cycled through a hundred years and now it's like it's making comebacks and repeating. It's like, do I have to wait till the 2090s before 1990s fashion comes back into play? And the interesting thing, too, to think about in that regard is like, if it were, like, if 90s fashion in particular were something that was to come back into fashion, um, all that style and everything, if that was all to cycle back in, would it still hit the same? Because, um, I was watching this, like, uh, history of, um, rollerblading video a while ago, and, um like how the sport got popular and then died all of a sudden and all that right um and it actually talks a little bit about like how it's um rollerblading is like tied to ni 80s and 90s culture specifically um the like the fashion trends etc um and it makes point about how um a lot of 80s style is um Like, like, everybody can pinpoint the visuals, right? Like, like the colors and the shapes and the, all that, right? Um, but there was also a sort of, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, the attitude of the people who were, like, featured in ads and on TV and whatnot, it's like, you guys know what I mean when I, when I say, like, um, like, overly happy white people from, like, a Snuggie commercial or, like, a Tetley commercial or whatever. Um, where just, like, big fake smiles and bouncing around. And yeah, life is good because I got a nice hot cup of coffee. Yeah. Just, like, that super fake happy bullshit, right? Um, that was, like all over in the 80s um and part of 90s culture and style was dunking on the 80s was um was like taking those trends and doing them in a more serious less bullshitty way um and just saying like hey look we're we're doing it cool now and we're not you know, we're we're not doing the the stupid happy-go-lucky idiot thing anymore, um, and like part of the I I guess like surge of of like those '90s trends and whatnot is like that feeling of like yeah, go with this new thing that dunks on the old thing because now like we see that it's better or whatever, right? Um, you just, you, you have that previous decade as a baseline for going into the next one. Um, and I wonder, like, without that baseline of, like, we're, we're not, you know, uh, uh like, wearing these styles and, and, uh, getting in on these trends and whatnot, like, to dunk on how they did things ten years ago, um, is that going to, like, affect, like, a, a re-roll? on things, you know? If all that cycles around, will the dunking cycle around, or will things be lacking for it? It's 
The head priestess, I shall now dedicate my life to the shrine while keeping the remaining five canine warriors in line. That's the spirit. That was a whole lot of, like, useless dialogue. To just say, the bad thing happened, the bad thing happened. But we did the good thing, so we can go. And we'll- and you'll stay here. Yeah. Bye bye A lot of empty dialogue in this. It suffers- uh, this game suffers from the problem of, uh, like, having to get everybody caught up on things. I noticed that with, um, with the Owl House recently, um, there was an episode that came out that, um, I, I, from beginning to end, I felt like the entire episode was a waste of an episode because it was spent getting the characters caught up on something that they already showed to the audience. It's like, like they reveal like heavy plot points or, or like the, the villain's plan or whatever in a scene with like just the, uh, the pertaining characters. And so the audience knows what's going on, but the whole rest of the cast doesn't. Um, and it, it felt particularly like a waste with the Owl House because I know that it's like been shit canned and that it only has X amount of episodes left before the series is done. Um, and uh, unfortunately, like I, you know, this, this wasn't something that was planned for and I, I guess it was meant to, you know, pace out a little bit better with the reveals and the catch-ups, etc. Um, but yeah, it, it was, it was just like, oh, we're gonna spend 20 minutes this week getting everybody else caught up on what you already know so that the story can actually progress. And like, again, be, because they didn't know that the series was gonna get cancelled, um, it was probably meant to be worked in a little bit more here and there, and not all at once, um, which is a shame that they that the work had to suffer like that um, because of its circumstance. But um, it's it's not the like the first or the only show to do that. To, to waste time getting the the characters caught up on what the audience already knows. It really made me think, like, the only reason it felt like a waste is because as a viewer, like, I already know everything that they're trying to tell the characters, right? Um, had they not... Um, had they not, like, included that last scene or whatever in, um, in whatever episode it was in that, like, uh, gave it all away, then, um, then you wouldn't go in with that knowledge and, you know, feel like it's a waste of time. Um, and it really made me think, like, uh, was that put in because they just wanted to make it interesting? Because they didn't know how to how to end the episode, like on a you know, on a good note, on an interesting note, without giving away major plot points. Like that's probably something to like address, as a whole, like as a as a writer, or or a creator. Like if you if you've got to give away the big parts of the story really early on in order to keep people interested. Maybe the writing itself isn't that interesting and the whole thing needs to be looked at a little bit closer. Oh, no tea. Only sadness. Looks like the village is back on its feet again. Oh, shut up. Shut up and let me look at your shop. I have to go... I have to go check out Holy Booze. 
you know, we could buy that mirror. We could buy that mirror, but we don't have enough money. We we could we could buy it. Don't worry. What if what if I told you? Fish that devour the moon's reflection on the water's surface. There's a dude somewhere that buys fish better, isn't there? Lacquerware set. Let's give him two of these. Give him one of these. There we go. Infinity Judge. Taking that. Taking it. It's mine. I would go check out the holy booze. Okay, Infinity Judge. Reflector marked indelibly with the loop of infinity judges evil. Rosary that draws upon pure life energy to destroy evil. We'll see how they do. Oh, hold on. 269, huh? It's almost enough for that. We get ink or do we get health? I feel like I should get more ink. But also... I don't know. I don't know. You know what? We're gonna go with ink. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that mirror's so cool. It's always busting up and reassembling itself. I like that one. I think there are other weapons in this game that I enjoy better, but that one's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of the... Um... God, there's like a similar mirror in Twilight Princess, isn't there? The segmented stone and the engravings on it remind me quite a bit of, uh, of Twilight. Okay, so we gotta go back to Kamiki, right? Back to the village. In the helmet? I think so. It's possible? There's a mirror though, isn't there? Don't they like send Ganon through a mirror? Twilight... Princess... Mirror shards! Collect three missing mirror shards that have broken off from the mir mirror of twilight. Now, where is the mirror of twilight? I want to see a picture of that. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm thinking of. Titular aspect of the story. Crossroad between Hyrule and the Twilight Realm. Yeah. Yeah, the big old portal. Ooh, so we have a bunch of these things all over. And boom! We can blow them away with the wind now. Come on, open. Sick. Now, I don't know... Right, yeah, we still have to figure out how to get into that. Okay. So I won't worry too much about, like, going through and clearing things out. Oh, that does a ton of damage. Oh, man, and my rosaries act like a shotgun. With these ones. They just, like, fan out at the target. How about 
fuck you, huh? How about that? God, that mirror is strong. Just like tore through that one guy. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, you. Oh! Uh, Kitten is raiding the Party 7. Cool! Cool, excellent. Um, welcome, Kitten and crew. How, how are you guys? Hope, hope all is well. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, hope you're ready for some Okami. This treasure's revealed its hiding place. It wants to be found. Precious treasure. Is this gonna be like the the mini game with the bamboo dude? I the great bingo will soon set you free. Expert excavator bingo. What does he got? Oh, he's got a belt of dynamite and a necklace of bombs. That's cool. That's neato. What do you want? You like to dig as well? Oh, let's go do a treasure thing. That's sick. Let's do let's do a treasure thing. Kitten says, Hiya, I was also just playing some Okami. Excellent! Excellent! Okami is a good game, and everybody should play it. For real though, I mean like, how can you not love the art of this? I mean, it's just beautiful to look at. Following the path that the pendulum is showing me. If you could clear the way by digging, that would be perfect. When it swings, all you need to do is dig. Okay. So it's like the same as the, uh, uh, the what's it? The same as the bamboo guy. Been enjoying your time with it to date? That's good. That's very good. Log next I don't have the patience for Okami. It's, pre it's pretty, but not my style. It's funny you say that, because it's exactly a Zelda game. It's literally a Zelda game. Which is, like, very up your alley. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh, he's gonna... Yeah, I knew it. I knew he'd walk into that like an ass. Bloom. Please. How do I... I... You don't cut that one. Okay. That blows up. I'm gonna have to just explode all of these. Can I not cut those ones? I guess not, huh? No, he's gonna get stuck. I screwed this up, didn't I? I feel like I very much screwed this up. Although, oh, wait. These. Did these blow up, the spiky ones? No. How do I... I'm not getting a slash attack. Okay. I got one there, but it didn't... Hold on. Tips? Close attention. But... Oh! Hold on. Okay, so you can... I didn't realize that you could use the wind to shoot him across a gap. Or to use... Um... 
Yeah. I didn't know you could use the um, the water to shoot them up. That's probably important. And when we come up with more techniques, we'll have to see how they affect them as well. If we end up coming back into one of these. I'm going to assume that maybe this is where he's got to go. I would hope. Please tell me you you need it in the middle here, man. Somewhere here. No. Okay. Shit. Uh. I can't like boost him with a tree or something. No. Okay, he's got to go, like, to the right, I think. Tips also saved you here, learning about wind. I think he did, like, four attempts before figuring that out. Oh, man. I remember, yeah, I remember this doing, uh, taking, like, a lot of attempts the first time I played this. Because you just don't think to go back in and look at it again, right? It's like, why would it update? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that really screwed up. And by that, I mean I. I really screwed that up. Okay. Let's get these busted out. Bust that up. Oh, damn. Go, sir. And... No. No, damn it, come on. Okay. Now let's get these blown up. It's not here either, is it? No, of course not. It's gonna be all the way over here. Son of a bitch. Do they just want you to go, like, all the way over? What is happening here? What is happening? It doesn't want to... Let's try this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, man. Why is it doing it like this? Bloom. This probably isn't even for anything good, I'll bet. Like, watch, I'll just get some praise and maybe a bit of treasure out of it. Come on. Uh... Oh, God, and now I don't have any more ink. for it. Okay. Oh, are you serious? He hit the spikes. Okay. I'll come back to this one later. This is... <laughs> this is silly. Oh, man. Oh, we didn't find it. Yeah. Yeah, it's way in there. It's, it's way deep in the Earth's butt. You just, we're gonna, we're gonna need a longer glove and some more Vaseline to reach it. Now, what the hell is over here? We're not supposed to be going this way yet, I don't think. But who cares? 
What a cute little doggy. Are you stuck here too? That big bridge over there. People call it Big Draw Bridge. Real thinkers over here, aren't they? It's what links talk a pass with the city. As you can see, they keep the bridge raised these days, though. <laughs> Don't want anybody coming in. Hey there, you hoping to head to the city? I'm afraid you can't. Checkpoint guards don't know why it's being raised. Okay, that's great. You understand what I'm saying? Want me to let you in on a rumor? <laughs> it's like, oh, you didn't look at me with the weird tilt head dog? Oh, okay, well, here, let's gossip. Starts telling him about all the shit he heard at the grocery store. And Suzanne has gotten so fat... Apparently there's some mysterious illness in the Saiyan City. I wouldn't normally believe that kind of rumor, of course, but thinking about when I first heard it... Oh god, I remember that side quest. That was... Not great. If the rumor's true, then I guess there's no hurry to leave here. It's rather ironic, isn't it? There keeping the city closed due to a due to an illness hmm hmm when did this game come out <laughs> let me check my notes on that one uh, now I do remember there's something like we can go down ooh nighttime I know we can like follow the river a little bit, I think, on our, uh, our lily pads. Hello there, what's the matter? You'll never get anywhere looking like that. Uh, greatest archer among the city guards. Greatest archer, Yuichi. That's some bow you got there. Y you brought a friend with you. Oh, cool. Golden fire, most powerful in all the land, huh? Guarding is rather dull work, so I pass the time practicing archery. Alright, what can you do? Oh, neat. I hope that didn't screw with anything inside the cannon. I feel like that's dangerous. Like, they're gonna go to launch a cannonball out of it, and it's gonna get caught on the arrow and just blow up inside the fucking cannon there. And he's just standing across the valley like, mm, I didn't see nothing. I didn't, what, what, there's an explosion? What? Oh, I didn't hear it. They found what inside? Oh, no, I wouldn't know anything about that. Don't you know I'm Yoichi, guy who's never even seen a bow and arrow in my life? We have a problem. I was guarding the city checkpoint when suddenly the order was given to not let anyone enter. Look, see how they raised the drawbridge on the far bank? Normally I'd fire a flaming arrow as a signal to lower it, but there's nobody at the guard post over there. Wonder if my comrades in the city would notice if I fired an arrow. I don't have anything to light my arrow with. Sacred flames of the Phoenix statue suddenly went out. It's been one thing after another lately. Right. We need to acquire fire. Ooh, whoa, oh, oh. Mm. This is the checkpoint for Saiyan City. Big drawbridge is... <laughs> the fact that they call it Big Drawbridge is just so silly. That's an absolute order from Queen Himiko. Nobody in, nobody out. You know the Phoenix statues protect the checkpoint? Well, they burn. Well, they're supposed to burn. I'm afraid monsters are gonna sneak up on me in the dark. That's why I'd like to fire back. Who? What? Huh? Oh. Have you heard... The rumor? You know, about the huge cursed zone? How huge is it? It's so huge... That everyone's up in arms because it happened so close to the big day. Boo! Boo, get off the stage. 
Uh, I'm <laughs> in the Kamiki Festival held each year. It's the hundredth fest. Hundredth fest. Yeah, hundredth. That makes sense. That didn't seem right. Since the monster was defeated, so everyone's saying that it's the hundred year curse. Yeah, what a curse. To live free of a monster's tyranny and to not have to sacrifice villagers all the damn time. That sucks. Look at these dark ages ass living motherfuckers. No one's allowed in the city, that's an absolute order. Yeah, I know. You've heard the rumor? Have you heard the rumor? I a million times. I see. I guess I can't remember who I've told it to. Okay, now he's got no more dialogue. That's not cool that they show you that there's more dialogue and it's just an option to repeat what's there. That's a waste of time. Although they don't really seem to care about that in this game. What do we have here? Looks like graves for travelers who didn't make it to the city. What a pity. May they rest in peace. It's right there, man! It's right fucking there. How did... Okay, and the... Okay. Presumably, these might be, like, a bundle of flowers that were left on the grave. Um, but it looks, from the way that they've laid out these assets, it looks like these graves have been here long enough that grass and flowers have started to grow over them. So, like, that would imply to me that these people died before the city closed up for good. You're telling me people traveled however far they made it here and then just croaked. And they're like, oh, well, you know, if we had a ditch, we'd just roll them into it, but, you know... We can't just roll them into the river here. These guys are just... Statues, yeah, okay, they're not like for a side quest, I don't think. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, knocking on you know with the veneers it's so hard to tell what is actually wood anymore you go to knock on wood and it's like oh no that's just a that's, that's just a, a top in Kamiki village there grows a magnificent tree called Konohana it's where a bunch of ninjas hang out I mean it has split its roots to form many trees throughout Nippon. Which is a concept I always love. Like the, the great tree that is like connected to like tons of other trees via its root system all over the world. Avatar does a really good um, like take on that concept but with the great swamp and everything. Yes, I'm talking about Last Airbender, not that James Cameron garbage. In order to better protect and preserve the glory of nature, differing accounts shed light, little light on the tree's true origin. Some say that the tree was born when it sprouted from a dead god. Others speculate that it was transplanted from a faraway land. Okay. No, no story concocted can be considered the true version. Uh, I, it's, I, I don't know what it is, but something about, like, it, it just seems really weird that uh, they'd give credit for, for, for something coming from a faraway land. Uh, you know, like for, for a place that touts itself as land of the rising sun. As if that doesn't happen literally all over the fucking planet. Uh, no story yet concocted can be considered the true version uh, like, like, I totally would have 100% expected it to be like, oh no, it grew here. Grew here first, we did it. Or, the tree originated here. No, it doesn't matter that there, those trees exist everywhere else. No, no, they stole it from us. 
would not surprise me. Uh, the sensation I get as I draw Konohana is unmistakable. This is a plant that cannot be tamed by a mere brush. The, the miracle of its existence is more than can be sketched. One wonders what secrets lie behind its broad leaves. It's a half-naked lady. That's the secret. It's a, it's a cutie with her bum hanging out through the back of her dress. Man, I wish all trees were like that. Or at least some of them, you know? Some bear fruit. Some bear, like, you know, sets of fruits. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Don't talk about it. Drop your shield. Uh. <laughs> oh! Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to... I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, little piglet. Little piggo. I did not mean to... I did not mean to ram into you. Here, eat. Eat the seed bag. I'm sorry, little piggo. Little oinker. Oinklet. Those flowers are getting so big. All the leaves and everything underneath them. God, that's pretty. I gotta get like a like the perfect still and try to try to paint some of this. I think it's good that there isn't some of the people would get their dicks stuck in between the wood and someone would have to come out to get the dick out by chopping it or something. But I mean that would stimulate a whole new um, like branch of jobs, right? I mean, in a in a world where the co the economies are always fluctuating and job security is, you know, never quite certain. You know, being being certain that people are always going to get their dick stuck in a tree means that you can uh, you can guarantee work as a as a dick remover. What's the what's what's the word I'm thinking of? It's it's not like um it, the, the exodus yeah the the dick exodus or or something or or no not exodus extra is it extradition I'm thinking one who provides extradition of the dick. From trees. Let's give these guys meat. Still sucky. Don't want to help people unstuck their dick because they can't find a human. I mean, she looks human, right? She's human enough. She she got she got human parts. Oh god. And just think, man, what happens what happens when you get your dick stuck in something? You're you're gonna want that professional who who knows what they're doing. Who's who's had the experience unstucking What happens? When you get your dick stuck in something, and you gotta call like the fire department, and they're like, "I don't know, man. I just we're used to taking whole ass people out of cars. Uh, we're, we're just we're gonna use the jaws of life, and hopefully, it's fine." No, you want you want somebody who's like got the custom made tool. You want, you want the guy who's got the custom made tool that you can't figure out what it does by looking at it. I can't tell if he's... Is my bloom attack 
causing him to spurt. Okay, so you gotta, yeah, you gotta, like, knock him a little bit before you can open him up. That was not the right floral finisher. I think it was the right timing, but it wasn't the right finisher. Lognex said, honestly, just don't go stick your dick somewhere it doesn't belong. But that's... That's human instinct, though. <laughs> I read a I read a fucking like Reddit post or whatever. Um, I was talking about like humans in space, and it's like th there are like three types of humans, uh, or or human behavior rather. It's like humans either want to pet things, fuck things, or try and eat things. Like you always gotta watch the humans on the space patrol, cause cause they're they're either gonna ingest or get ingested by something. Now there is a GD uh, floral thing, a flower somewhere. I know there is. I know there's like a fucking. Um, like, I can slingshot myself up onto that rock or something. Let me just go back and double check. Never had that problem. Guess I'm more weird than I thought. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, there's something up there. Love this game's, like, the, the asset fade-in. Like, to help with the, the rendering and shit. But, boy, does that make things tough when you're looking for stuff at a distance. I don't miss this. Yeah, can I not... Oh. Yeah, see, there is a thing there. There's no... I'm gonna say there's no water spout on the other side of that. I think there's a trail of those, like, up here, possibly. No. Either way, I should be able to find a, uh, a flower bud somewhere and slingshot myself over to that. I think that little island there where you get the fire, I think that might be where, um... Either where we get the fire or where we at least find the fire um, to turn on the the torches and shit over here. Because we need a source to get it from, right? I don't know that we can just create it out of thin air. I think we end up with um, a, like the vines or the water spout technique where it just like drag and drop the fire from one spot to another. I don't know that we can create it I'm also not seeing. Yeah, I'm not see Oh, there's... Yeah, there's the flower bud, but I can't quite get close enough to it for it to open up. I could try going down and on the other side of that rock, but I don't think that's the solution there. I might just have to come back. Either way, we gotta go um, to Kamiki Village, I think, and then we gotta go to the Moon Shrine. We gotta go check up on um, what's her face on Kushi. See how her booze is coming along. Booze made from water. I know it's like a rice wine, but just like the big barrel of water just, just makes me think like she she's putting like water in cups and telling people it's sake. 
She's like, no, 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 it's so pure and divine. It Like, it doesn't even taste like booze. They're like, ooh, yes, it's so clean. How did I miss you? And you as well. Now that's interesting. Now where or where? Ah! Nice. If that sound were like a little bit louder, I would totally use that on my phone. I don't think it's got enough volume to it, though. Like, natural volume. Lacquerware set. Fucking sick. There should be a whole bunch of those leaf piles out here. Plenty of treasure for us to acquire. Didn't we feed this dog already? I thought we did. Maybe it's a different dog. Is there different feed cycles for day and night? Like, can you feed each animal twice? No, okay, it's that dog that I fed before. I had them confused. There we go, let's blow this away. <laughs> you can... I didn't realize that you can stand on them. That's kind of cool, though, seeing it, uh, like, blow away underneath you and then you fall. It's like when you find out um, that you can like stand on top of uh, the spawn areas for the chests in Zelda and you end up like standing on them when they like materialize in. Actually, I think some get like the older ones have you spawning in them and then the newer ones like the 3D remakes and shit have collision. So it like pushes you up from the ground. You know, I'm gonna dig that up. Yeah, that, that's really fun. Like, if you if you know where the uh, where the chest's gonna pop out after you beat a boss, you try to beat it like close to the middle of the room or something, and then stand on that spot, see what happens. Any famous by Potter from Shinzu Field? Uh, had ever since set up shop. Can't do without it now. Isn't that one of the famous Kuzu pinwheels? My wife asked me to get her one of those, but I've been too scared to go near the place. I don't suppose you'd be able to give me that one, would you? That's why I bought it, dude. And that's why I came over here to talk to you guys. Cool. Basically just bought praise. I purchased this guy's adoration and respect. And it costs like what? Like a hundred yen? It was like a buck, maybe? So I guess we can count on things like uh, gold dust and new weapons, like things of value uh, popping up at the top of people's inventories there. Yeah, this is the guy that buys the fish real good. Yeah, I knew he would. <sighs> and dig. Fucking sick. Now this 
puts me just outside the forest, right? Ah, oh, hell, I should have gone back to the mermaids thing. Or it's fine, because I forgot to feed rabbits. Forgot to feed or didn't have the herb bag when I came through. Uh, we'll never know. We'll never know. Unless we go back and watch the videos, but you know. Who's gonna do that? Who would ever watch a video on YouTube? Every time I come through here and I see, like, the big hooks on the side of the log, it makes me want to, like, try and attach myself to them. Like, draw the, uh... Draw the goddamn... the vine thing and see if it pulls. I don't think it will, though. Because it's not a plant. Yep, they're being cool over there. That's cool. Leave them alone. He's cool. Son looks like he's becoming a man. It's cool. Forced is awesome. Life is dope. What do you got? You got anything new? Nah, he ain't got shit. You will, Logneko. You will watch the video. And Godspeed to you, sir. Shit, we forgot to go. Um, fuck it. I should be able to just teleport from here. Uh, this will take me straight to Kamiki, right? It's a shame they don't give you the map and option. Yeah, that's a waste, but whatever. Surprised they don't have a, a pool in Kamiki. It, it would be nice if they showed you the map and, and gave you the options uh, before it consumed a coin. We might even be in for a storm. It's, it does look like it's going to rain. It looks like it'll rain evil. Or black fire upon us. What is... What is happening? It's a full moon. Yes, it is. That's what I call a full moon. Yeah, me... I, most people do. I would think. Doesn't the Kamiki Festival fall on a full moon this time of year? Yes, it does. <laughs> hey, let's get to the village before they drink all the booze. Yeah. Yeah, that's the important thing. Not the evil in the atmosphere. We gotta get to that party. Won't sell anything like this. Don't suppose your owner sent you to buy anything, right? Did you? Did he? Did, did they? They send you? Puppy? No. Eat shit, loser. Hmm. Hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susano's place? Is everybody finally had enough of him pretending that he's cool? You come out here this instant, Susano. You got some explaining to do. How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for Konoha? Oh, wow. He did what? You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. You must have had some reason to drink up the eight purification. There was a lot of that. He drank like the whole barrel. Why would you drink all the eight purification sake pops? Yeah, why would you drink all of it? I don't care if it's so special. 
I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. There was literally like a factory, like there, like a booze manufacturing plant across the street. The building you stole that out of had a whole like wares of like. There was probably so much booze at hand, and he chose, like, the one thing that he shouldn't have. Well, it wasn't any old sake, and this isn't any old festival. We're all worried about a curse because we're stupid and superstitious. This is, like, feudal medieval era, so nobody's smart enough to think for themselves yet. How could you have done such a thing? Now, now we can't pull off our dumb superstitious traditions to appease the demon. Appease the demon that's supposed to have been locked up for the last hundred years. Been leaving you guys alone this whole time. I mean, like, I could understand if, like, they're all weary, because, like... Oh, there was that event, right? It seems like evil is back in the land and monsters. And, ooh, but that's got nothing to do with it. They're wigged out because it's the 100th anniversary and they're like, oh, that means bad. Because it's a number, because it, it's the number 100, it, bad will happen. Like, no, bad will happen because Susano is an idiot who keeps fucking things up at every turn. He was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his house. All the sake Kushi brewed is gone. Why'd he do that? This is terrible. This is also like, what, the third time you've asked? It's what saved the day in that legend. Yes, cycle the dialogue some more, please. Timing couldn't be worse with the return of Orochi and all. Mm. The dreaded Orochi. It's all my fault. I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do you realize what a fix we're in now without any sacred sake? Well, it's got nothing to do with the booze. It was I who committed that unspeakable act at the Moon Cave. It was I who brought Orochi back to life. I have brought utter destruction upon the world. Mm. I was sick of hearing about how I'm a descendant of Nagi. So you, what, you went to go, like, replay his legend? So that you could be more in his shadow? I wanted to prove it was all a lie by removing the sword Tsukuyomi. Oh, that's stupid. That's... <laughs> so instead of having the ambition to do something for himself, right? To make his own name and his own accomplishments and, you know, be like a great warrior in his own right. Uh, instead, his plan was to defile a sacred uh, site and attempt to disprove somebody else's accomplishments. He, he, oh man. He wanted to take the glory away from a, a guy who's been dead for a hundred years so that he could feel better about being a fucking loser. What an abject piece of shit. Like, fuck this man to death. The legend was true, and I've unleashed unspeakable evil. Oh no! Oh no! And the curse consumed all of Nepal. Yeah, who would have thought that the curse would have been real? What with the whole place being guarded by some mysterious dude who was like, what on loan from the capital? I guess. The only reason you got in is because he left to take a piss. Like, even if he doesn't think it's real, like, everybody else 
clearly believes that it is enough that maybe there should be like a hmm, maybe there's something I'm missing you know maybe maybe there's a reason why they believe and I don't fled to the village out of fear I blocked its entrance with a boulder and hit there needs to be more of this there, there needs to be more of these, like, stills. After that, I tried fleeing here and there, but the gods would not leave me be. Ever they stared down at me, pissed off that I'm an asshole. At least n not until I slew the yeah. So, So what? You... His fucking character is just all over the place, man. So he goes to the cave. He goes to the cave to try and disprove the legend so that he can stop living in Nagi's shadow and he can be his own man. Then, from the first time we see him up until basically our last encounter with him he's done nothing but go i am the descendant of the legendary nog look how cool i am for being related to this cool guy um only to then backtrack and say no it's horrible i don't want to do this anymore i don't like this lie that i've cultivated i don't like this lifestyle that i've built for myself And, and now he's backsliding again into it's up to me to defeat Orochi and, and I am the hero that will do it. His character is all over the fucking place. It's like they couldn't decide if they wanted him to be a hero or a fraud. It's, it's like they wanted him to pretend to be here, like they wanted him to be a fraud, but if they made the main hero a fraud, then who is actually going to stand in and defeat the boss? Because, I mean, well, like, we are, obviously, right? But, like, to the humans, somebody's got to take credit. Man, we really getting in there. Oh, it's one of them exorcism arrows. And it looked like it was gonna just land in the water. So just like the dog said, that arrow would have killed that kid. Wasn't even meant for him. It was gonna land on Kushi's roof. But it would have killed him in the process. That old doggo was right. On the eve of the full moon, the eight headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maid. This hasn't happened for a hundred years. Why y'all gonna start freaking out now? If we don't offer the Chosen Maiden as a sacrifice, what? what? What'll happen? What, he shows up after a hundred years and he's like, Oh, th this is how it is now. And they're expected to just be like, yeah, okay. One of my favorite tropes is uh, ancient evil is revived and doesn't have any concept of what modern society is like. Like, thinks that people are still, like, afraid of, you know, spooky monster shit and thinks that, like, they are the ultimate being and, like, people are just, like, uninterested and don't care and, you know, have guns, right? So... <laughs> 
one of one of my favorite uh, iterations of that trope is um, in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. One of the one of the season antagonists is um, is one of those guys. He's an ancient evil that couldn't be killed and had to be sealed away. Um, there, there was something very specific in his legend about how, like, uh, like no weapon forged at the time could kill him. And it's like, yeah, because all they had was, like, swords made out of bronze at the time. They didn't have fucking RPG launchers. This guy's all strong and all powerful, right? Oh, yeah. Let's say let's see how he deals with a rocket propelled grenade to the fucking chest. Oh what it powderized him? Oh look at that. That dress is like like extremely see-through. That that robe is is like just sheer fabric like like that might as well just be fucking fishnet like it it looks like it's like paper thin and she dumped water on it like 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 she she got ready in her ceremonial robes to go get sacrificed and she's like you know what fuck it i'm gonna look hot as shit when i go out She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? Yeah, I guess she is. No, Kushi, wait! No! Oh, no! Yeah, tell me he's just gonna sit there and let her go like a fucking coward. Fucking Susano. What a piece of crap he is. What an insult to the legendary name of Susano. I can just picture like every single other incarnation of Susano like looking down at this jackass and just shaking their heads. Every variant of this fictional character just being like, mm, no, that one sucks. We're, we're ashamed to share our title with him. There's no um, leaf piles up here to blow off, is there? Nothing? Okay. Log next said, I watch a lot of cultivation manga. These guys sometimes enter a modern world for them. It's like really new so they can cultivate their body, making it so strong depending on how they do it. They can resist bombs and nukes and all that shit. Oh, cool. Like a, um, like a conditioning, uh, program. I think he was supposed to trigger a fight for me to test my speed, and then I screwed it up by jumping. I think I was supposed to turn the camera around and not jump. Hayabusa, you saved my life. Is that why you were sitting there the whole time? Were you waiting to push me out of the way of that arrow? I've treated you so badly lately. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. Why have you been a little shit to your dog? Ass hat. Deserves to be forgotten or shamed forever. Hopefully he will be. Come out, Susan O. It's the sacrificial arrow of the work of that legendary monster. We do oh, we doomed. We're doomed. You gotta come fight it. Fight a snake. Yep. On the eve of the... Yeah, he's just gonna recite the legend. Nagi and Shirinui put an end to that abominable tradition. But it's come back to haunt us, oh no! Yep, 
Yeah, I would hope that, like, within a hundred years, like, society here would have progressed enough that they'd be like, oh yeah, a big magic snake? Who cares? <laughs> Ready the cannons. We had not but arrows last time. Don't try to stop me, Eason. Oh, if Orochi's chosen victims run away, disaster will befall Kamiki. Why just Kamiki? Why that one village? Why doesn't he send arrows like anywhere else? Is it because these are the only people who will like bend knee to his shit? There's too much suffering in the world. I'm gonna use my sake to rid us of this evil menace. What are you talking about? You really think you'd win with a little jug of sake? Yes, because it's not just booze, it's also poison. At least that's what I would have done with it. Why are you getting all worked up? There's no hope of winning. Oh, shut up, bug. Shut up. Eason, you haven't done, like, a single ounce of the fighting, so you don't get to determine what is doable and what's not. When, when you get the credit stolen from you by Susano, then we can talk. Ah, shit. You know, good, good on both of them for her not, like, falling off entirely on that wall jump. Oh god, hold on. Can we... Oh man, Amy has such a hard time swimming as it is, and now she's gotta do it with Kushi. Oh no. Hey, buddy. Oh. Why is he mad? <laughs> I say after I just ran into him. What on earth are you doing? I heard a deafening peal of thunder from the... Vi is that what thunder does? It peels? Like a banana? I thought it clapped. Or clattered. Or rumbled. Or rolled. Peeling thunder. That's That's a new one. Believe me, this is no night to be wandering about outside. What does a peel even sound like? Like, like this, uh, like, does it mean the sound of, of peeling a, an orange or something? I could understand, like, a, like, a peel of lightning, like it, like it peels across the sky, right? But, thunder. That's, that's audio. Or maybe they're doing that thing that Japan does where they confuse thunder and lightning. He did say here, though. He heard it. So, I don't know. I think he means peeling, as in traveling. It's a really dumb word. Oh. Like when somebody, like, peels out in their car really fast. That's a really weird turn of phrase. Particularly to be used in that context. Like, at this point in supposed historical time, whatever. Weird wordplay, yeah. I knew you'd come, Amaterasu. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? She's got a nice rack in that see-through top of hers. Yeah, that thing is just like, like, soaked. It's as thin as it can be, and she dunked herself in water. She wanted to look hot as fuck when she died. 
Hey, that's the serpent crystal he stole from us. Hi. Hi. It's like a collection of crystals. Like I said before, like an upturned grape. And upturned grapes. Forbidden fruit. Break your teeth. Chewing on that. But if you can manage to get to the gooey center. Oh. Well, the moon cave is open. You've played your part. Now fuck off. <laughs> Basically. Uh, most of the young girls in this game seem half naked to me. I mean, we've only really seen three so far, haven't we? Kushi. And this is the first time that she's been that exposed like that. And then um, Sakuya, yeah, has been pretty out there. I don't know that I'd call Kushi a young girl, though. Either of them, really. Um, considering she uh, brews liquor for a living. I would think even in medieval, feudal, whatever, um, they probably wouldn't let kids brew sake. Um, and sake is like at least like 100 years old, depending on how old that tree is, right? Who's the other... Right, the, uh, the Satomi girl is the only other... Uh, I guess, like, like female character or whatever. Um, who's, who's, like, been a character, I think. Oh, I guess there's the, the Sparrow girl, too. Satomi seemed pretty... Or Princess Fusei, whatever her name is. I don't know. Pre was she a princess or a priestess? She was a priestess, but I think they called her princess. <sighs> Only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. Guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. Looks like we've been set up again. Were you not planning to enter the cave anyway? It is time for you to shine. Now, let me leave you with this little prophecy. Look, the moon, the moon, the moon came out. <laughs> that wasn't a very good one. No, it wasn't. But it gets the point across. The moon will have to come out at some point. This guy is boring. Yeah, Waka doesn't deliver uh, nearly as much as he should, or nearly as early as he should. His character does get a little bit more interesting, but yeah, it's it's not great. Cut out. It's no use. Let's go check the place out. Okay. Oh, and there he is. He came all this way so he could piss himself. Moon Cave. And I would assume that symbol means that this is a dungeon. Huh? Oh great, the stairway. It's crumbled away. God or not, this is just too big a leap for you. We either have to find a way around, or we can go our way. You know, our way, it's so obvious. It's that saying of my leap before you think- When do you say that? It'll take a lot of guts to do that now.
it takes a lot of guts or a complete lack of attention to what you're doing. Hope he gets possessed and we can kill him and he dies. <laughs> you're right, you're very hateful today. Uh, we've gotten ourselves in... What are, what are we doing here? Can you sniff out Kushi's ass? I mean, whereabouts? What are you... What are you? What business do you have at the Moon Cave? Stronghold of our master, the Great Orochi. Oh! You! Never thought I'd see you... I could spot you a mile away, yeah. You did a real good job recognizing immediately. Don't have time to mess around with you. If you insist, let's hurry up. Yes, we don't have time to mess around, but we do have time to trade all this dialogue back and forth. You gotta be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen. And stray so far into a place like this. You're not too bright, are you? I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any more time here. They think I'm just a hungry pup. They're like, oh, what was that? Boy, oh boy, do you look out of it. Kind of feel sorry for you. Makes me want to feed you or something. For real? What do you want? You're not thinking... Run off. Go play somewhere. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go explore the rest of the... Cave thing. Calcified Cavern. Nice. I love how much character it gives the textures by, like, just putting in a few of those little swirls all over the place. It makes it look like clouds or smoke or something. Or that it's like melting and dripping off like... God, there's so many like effects you can achieve with just that... like that little swirl. Hmm, you tamed Thunderbrew. Fragrant Sake... Fragrant Sake representing the culmination of Kushi's skills. There's still some left, but I'm not sure it'll be enough to take care of Orochi. Probably not. Hold on a second, guys. I do believe... Ah, yes, my dinner is ready. I'm gonna tab over, I'm gonna go get my food, and I'll be back in just a second. Don't go nowhere, guys. Okay, I'm back. I got my food. I just need to set it up here for a second.
Pull that out. Okay. Don't I dare eat a burger in front of you? Well, you're in luck, Dog Negro. There's no burger today. There might be a burger tomorrow. I don't know. But not today. No, I... I opted for the kids' meal today because I wanted more crayons. <laughs> They're giving... They're giving out crayons instead of toys with the kids' meal. And I was like, you know what? They're Crayola crayons, so at least they're good. So I'll just... Just collect the crayons then. <laughs> I don't think I have crayons. I think my brother's got crayons, but I don't. You're expecting the pupper soon. Looks like I have fries. <laughs> yeah, he'll be probably looking for them real soon. Crowns is actually better than something you will never use again. That's true. It's true. We collected those um, little cube animals last year, I think. I don't know if you guys remember those or not. Um, and those just sit on my bookshelf. Right? Like, they're cute. I look at them every once in a while and I'm like, oh. But, yeah, they don't do anything. Here at Crayons, I, I can actually use those. I can draw and color and do all kinds of cool art with. I'm actually excited to, like, um, like, sit down and, uh, like, like, play with the crayons and maybe do, like, some, like, nicer artwork with them. Because crayons is such a shitty, like, like, children color with crayons, and and it always looks terrible, right? Like, it's, it's just, like, the nature of the medium. But, like, I've seen good crayon art, and it, I don't know, look, looks good. Hi, puppy. Did you finish your oatmeal already? It's the guy from Demon Slayer. Except he's only got one drum. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't any good. I can start doing hentai drawings with crayon. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Fuck, wouldn't that be... Oh god. Be a hell of a throwback to a... To a, a dark age of the internet. I, I can remember um, being... Being a young wee bone score and um, connecting to the net on my dial up fucking internet to look at like s like bad scans of shitty hand drawn uh, hentais of things <laughs> you either get like the um, you either get like the Taiwanese doujin scans or you get like something that somebody did on a piece of printer paper with like pencil crayons It was a dark time. Before internet was good and before porn was good. I'd be happy to just get it. I say that though. 
now, and I know that there's like a chunk of people who be listening to this that are going, What's dial up? Dial up was like the first kind of internet. Your computer used to scream at you because it didn't want to do it. Oh, this is the fucking mask! Oh ho 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 ho! Hang on here, let's... Let's go... There we go. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it doesn't look that bad on her. <laughs> In fact, you look better than your run of the mill imp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it. Let's wear the Sumie dick. Now you're one mean looking imp. <laughs> oh man, I forgot that they introduced this like right here. Only an imp would get a kick out of wearing a mask like this. So this whole like paint a design on something that will get used, like, for gameplay. Um, this is something that gets used later on in a much better way. But this is still a really funny... like, example of, uh, this mechanic. There you go, puppy. Fry fragments for you. Uh, oh, no. Eat the french fries, don't throw them. Mm -hmm. God, is there anybody in the chat who remembers dial up? <clears throat> is there anybody who remembers that goddamn screeching? Like, hey, computer, I need you to connect to the internet. <laughs> it's like if somebody shoved a fucking donkey into a telephone. And... And that donkey had, like, a... It's like if somebody gave one of those smoker voice boxes to a donkey and then shoved that donkey into a telephone. That's what that... That's what the dial-up noise makes me think of. It's like anytime you wanted to connect, you had to listen to that. And like, like oddly enough, like back in the day, like I thought nothing of it. But now, like if my computer made a noise like that now, I'd be horrified. I'd be like, oh shit, what happened? What did I, what went wrong? What did I do? Because clearly it's, it's busted. Can I? No, I guess there's not really much of anything in here, is there? Yeah, it looks like there's not really anything in here. I mean, we just came in for the mask. It's possible that we just came in for the mask. Lock next to you know what I used to do? Still do, just better. Used to play those free hentai flash games on the porn gaming sites. Oh yeah, no, those were... Those were alright. Those... <laughs> there were a few of those that were, uh, that weren't half bad. You know, for the time. <laughs> Very limited, but there were a few that led me on the path of never returning. <laughs>
Alright, this is all you get, puppy, okay? No more. Yeah, those are those are real interesting moments when you're just like clicking along and hey, what's this? And you you watch a video and you're like, huh. Guess I got a new fetish now. Wasn't expecting that today. Looking for intruder. There's, there's always that period of like, okay, I have to adjust and work this into the whole rest of the interests and it fitted in between the other fetishes and how does it, how do I feel about this? Do I want to lean into it or not? Did I, oh man, there's a, there's a fucking dumbass meme that I don't know if I post. Yeah, I didn't post it yet, but I'm gonna do it right now on account of this conversation. Yeah, cause, cause why not? <laughs> oh, this is so weird. It's a, it's an image of of like like somebody's made like underwear for feet. It's like, you just, no, no, you don't need to wear those. Socks are fine. Don't, don't need to be wearing like undies on the feet. Crotch riding up between the toes, just, ugh. Sacrifice ceremony for the great Orochi is to be held today. Everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. What are you waiting for? And we can go through, because they saw the dick on my face, and they're like, Hey, you look like us! Your fetish came when you played Habbo? You know, I never touched that one. I remember that being a thing, and I remember some of my friends playing that. Um... Never got into that. That was that was one of those things that was like, um, like you like I was trying to like find out what everybody's playing, what everybody was like into, and um. I'm like, what can we play together? And people are like, oh well, we play this. I'm like, okay. So let me let me see if if my computer will handle it. And then you go, okay, I'm I'm ready to play game A now. And they go, oh no, no, we're not, we don't play game A anymore. Everybody's playing game B now. Like, fuck. What if I set up game B? Like, no, no, no. In the time it took us for me to tell you about game B, everybody started playing game C. So Orochi demands appetizers before his human sacrifice. You can chew us up, spit us out if we don't hurry. We gotta go find the cooks. Don't ring the Epicurean bell. You're not supposed to ring it until the appetizer is ready. He will punish us if it's rung before that. Huh. Oh? He punishes you with one of them? Oh. Oh, big punishment. Big punishment in Little Okami. When can I cut this dude? Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, get that fang! Fucking sick. Wait for it. And cut him across his ass.
was into role playing as a young lad. I've never been all that into role playing, acting, whatever. It's always been, I don't know, just like weird and uncomfortable for me. When I took drama in high school, it was just like super uncomfortable, like having to like read scripts and like pretend like I had emotion behind it and. Just coins in here? Just coins. We think that they would break. <sighs> okay. Mm. So I need the fire ability in here, I guess. Maybe this is where I'll get it. Talk a pass. We'll just save here. We'll rotate on the next one, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so... Cook is here. Nugget, you're not having any more. There's not four puppies. They're quite salty today, and I don't want you getting sick. Okay? Why don't you go upstairs, buddy? Yeah, go go upstairs, please. I don't want you sitting here begging for fries anymore. Find time for the chef to just yet. Yeah, you're caught on my cord, buddy. Come on. At least now, don't sit on the cord. Last time I remember, the cook was right in front of that big pot. Where could he be? Come here. Come here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Mr. Puffy. Yes. You're so desperate for fries tonight. You, you had some though, right? I gave them to you. And I saw you had your oatmeal already. Mm -hmm, you did. So you're not exactly starving. Right? You just really want them? I know, you've been a good boy today, haven't you? You were so good. You were such a good puppy today. But listen, we don't want you getting sick, okay? Too many french fries make the puppy sick. And especially if they're salty like they are. You, your tummy, your little tum tums will get upset. You don't want that. Right? You don't like being sick on the carpet. Yeah, so we, we take eats. Take eats, me so okay? No more french fries, okay? No more. <clears throat> we, we gotta go through and find some sort of demon cook now, okay? In the video game. Are you gonna sit here and help me play? You just want me to keep scratching you, eh? Just want your bum scratched? Or your shoulders rubbed? Damn it. And let's get this down here. Nice. Oh, there he is. The cook is in the giant soup. Hot stuff. Sweetheart, hey you. Get me out of here before I end up well done. Logan exit, he's like me. Keep looking at my plate, waiting for more fries to appear. <laughs> Just hoping that the portions will get larger. That was a close one, darling. I'm the fabulous head chef of this kitchen, by the way. No need for formalities. You can just call me Ad 
Ajimi? 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 I was cooking with such tender, loving care. I totally spaced out and almost cooked my own goose. <laughs> Fucking dick mask. <laughs> what an absolutely fabulous mask you have there! How would you like to be my assistant? <laughs> they had to know. Right? They had to know that people were going to draw dicks. And, like, just... The fucking dialogue, man. Be being written to be like, Ooh, yeah, you did a good job. Real well done. Have to wave up a lip-smacking appetizer to wet Lord Orochi's appetite. Before the t <laughs> Fucking appetizers. <laughs> Try explaining appetizers to, like, a... Like a, like a starving child. Like, like in Africa or something. Now, see, we bring out little bits of food to eat before we eat to make ourselves more hungry. Concept just like. Just causing the child to like turn to dust. <laughs> Didn't come here to help you, see? Oh, how should I put it? Just, I run into a wee bit of a problem, almost done, but alas, I run out of secret ingredients. Okay, so we're on a fetch quest now. Uh, I can relate to your obsession with detail. I mean, quality does suffer when you cut corners. All artists know that. Uh, fabulous news. Four secret ingredients. Now pay attention. All of them can be found somewhere in the moon cave. Ogre liver. Lips of ice. Eyeball of fire and a black demon horn. Got that? Okay. I almost forgot to take this key with you. The rest is up to you. It's my key now. It's mine! <laughs> I'll go where I pleased with it. Can't stop me. Haha! <laughs> Okay, does this go in here? What do you want? I bet you just want to trade jobs with me. Well, the answer is no. I always wanted to operate this elevator. Now, finally, it's my turn. I couldn't wait to turn the crank. It makes the elevator move, you know. <clears throat> when the water below recedes, I'm going to raise and lower this elevator to my heart's content. When the water below recedes, huh? Hmm. That's not gonna cause it to just drain, is it? Oh, right, that's where the key goes. Okay, duh. Vlognik is like, god da fucking damn it. I keep getting MLP things pop up on my YouTube when I refresh the page. So annoying. Don't watch anything related to that. What the hell? They're They're just trying to get you in, huh? The MLP community was like, we need to bolster our numbers. You know who we fucking need. This log neck guy. I'll bet you could... Bet you'd be so in on all the heated debates about who's more powerful, Rainbow Dash or... I don't know. Rainbow Dash is the only name that I know because I think because it's like the most popular one or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. I think I know Rainbow Dash because uh, she was on Death Battle once. Which one was that? I can't even remember. Who did they fucking f have her fight? Because I remember that being really fucking stupid. Um, death battle. Was it Rainbow Dash versus Starscream? It might have been. 
I think it was. I think it was Rainbow Dash versus Starscream. Which is so weird. Like, I thought... <laughs> I thought it was weird enough, like, pairing, like, a, a fucking pony with a goddamn fighter jet in a, uh... In a fighting thing, uh, but then they start going into um, like the specs and the stats and everything, and they're like, Rainbow Dash can like shoot lasers and all this shit, and I'm like, what? What the? F what is this? What what ki what kind of fucking show is this? What is what is this fandom for? I don't. I thought it, I thought they were just like. Like, dumb ho You know, I honestly didn't know what to expect from it. I think, like, the first time I ever, like, was exposed to MLP, it was like, oh, this is just, like, another girly toy franchise thing, whatever, right? I didn't think that there'd be, like, a story or fucking battle stats for, <laughs> for goddamn ponies. Somehow I feel like there's, there's like, message boards out there talking about, like, the fucking timelines and the space-time continuums and the alternate realities where the, the ponies are this, that, and the other thing, and it's all canon, and... I get the feeling that it's way more in-depth than I have any idea of. don't like this eyeball. It's kind of freaking me out. Yeah, me too. It just rotates in its socket. I feel a whole lot better if we could make it shut somehow. Hmm. Cool death battle you liked was Zoro versus Urza? That was a good death battle. That was a very good death battle. There are some of them that were, like, just really good. Um, <clears throat> and then there were some of them that just... I don't know. Like, the Mario versus Sonic death battle was... I think at some point they tried to be like, Oh, so we're, like, non-biased, and, you know, we're not, like, for either side more than the other. Um... But then they do... There was a really stupid sequence in the combat simulation or whatever. Um, and they basically stacked the chips in Sonic's favor. And they were like, look how cool Sonic is. Look how he would beat Mario. And it's like, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people would if Mario wasted all of his power-ups at an inopportune moment. Like, why would you stack the Invincibility Star with Metal Mario? Those two basically do the same thing. Ogre Liver, nice. Yeah, some of them are very clearly, like, biased to one side, and some of them, some of them have more integrity, but, uh, I can't remember why I stopped watching, but I, th I think it was, uh... I think it was just the matchups in general were just garbage. It's like, shit-tier shit character A versus shit-tier character B. It's like, who wants to see who would win a fight between... A three-day-old turd that's been left in the sun, or a four-day-old turd that's been soaking in the toilet bowl unflushed. There we go. What did this say? Watch your step. So that's all that's down here, huh?
Hmm, really hate this channel now that it's rap battles and they use these two people rap against each other. I'm trying to be. Oh, the epic rap battles of history? Makes no sense. Why are they against each other? There's usually supposed to be thematic elements. Um. That, like, uh. That join the two together. Um. But yeah, some of them, yeah, like, like the links between them start to get really blurry, and it's like, okay, that's a stretch. Do you think these two should be, like, like at each other or whatever, right? What I thought was really, like, kind of a huge waste of their time and everything was they seemed to, after a while, they started trying to come up with excuses for why, like, any two characters would be fighting each other. Like, they just happen to be walking along the road in the same universe and just bump into each other, and... It's like, you don't... <clears throat> you don't have to come up with a reason for your imaginary fight between fictional characters from different franchises y you can just put them in an arena together they don't they don't have to have backstories going into this fight let's go real slow over this bridge Okay. Yeah, there's there's no way. Okay, I need fire first. Do I get it from going down here? Probably not. What's down here? Oh, this thing. Let's clear that out. No. Did I get the demon fang? No. That's okay. Let's just wail on him with the mirror. No. Oh god. That's not gonna help. No. Did that do anything? No. Okay. Huh. Getting behind him while he's blocking like that doesn't... Doesn't break his guard, unfortunately. Best one you heard last year or before? The rap battle with McDonald's versus Burger King? I don't think I heard that one. That was something I stopped following, like... Almost immediately. They had a couple of good seasons, and then it was like, okay, this is kind of the same every time. Now that... Oh, what does this do here? Give the signal using the bamboo fountain. The signal to what? I could think of a more boring, couldn't think of a more boring job than this. When I get the signal, I open the valve over that wall. And when I'm told to close it, I do so day in, day out. Nothing more than a cog in the machine. Okie dokie. Well. Clunk. But, okay, but that guy didn't actually do anything, though. <clears throat> I hit the... I filled the bamboo thing, and it hit the button, and then the button opened that. The guy didn't actually do shit. Don't you go opening the valve without the signal. I'm warning you. 
but it's already been done. So, what are you going to do about it? Nothing? <clears throat> you can do literally nothing? Oh. No, I need to draw that over here. Give me this. Slightly damages fools. Get over here and... Ooh. Yeah. Just listen to it because it was really trending. Trying stuff tends to be a bit better than other stuff. Eh. Depends on what uh, what it is that's trending, I guess. Boom. <clears throat> okay, examine. What am I examining? You feel that too? There's wind blowing up from below. Do I need to... Nope, that didn't do shit. Can I cut that? Yes. I can. Do, 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 and I'm out of here. Oh, that goes up, huh? Oh, it doesn't go that up. Hey, what do we have here? Oh, shit. And it just shortcut me all the way back up here. Nice. Do, 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 do. Okay. So yeah, I still can't go in there on account of the lack of fire. So maybe I... Um... Nope. Okay. I thought maybe this was like a busted ass bridge. I guess not. Ah, uh... oh, damn. Okay. Back over here, I guess. You. Surprised to see how deep that shaft is. Feel all weak in the knees. The elevator will go crashing down to the bottom if I don't keep firm grip on this crank here. So don't disturb me. Hmm. So you wouldn't like it if I headbutted you in the dick. Oh no! Wait, that was supposed to... Does nothing happen? Why do that? It didn't like break the thing underneath, did it? No, it didn't. So... Hooked on this job now. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Well, let's take our food back. Maybe dumping the thing in the pot here will give me a clue. What do we have here? You found one of the ingredients. Just adore you. Offered the ogre liver. Okay, that didn't help. Shit. Okay, let me see. Um, 
um, Okami. Fire Rush. This, yeah, Inferno. Uh, one of the thirteen. Uh, where the fuck is it, though? During Amatarus' exploration in the lower sections of Moon Cave, she rode an elevator down a deep pit. Hmm. Okay. So it's in here. It's not like I've, like, missed it somewhere. It is, in fact, like, at the bottom of that uh, elevator. Log like I said, I would say McDonald's versus Burger King makes more sense, at least to me, because they're both sell burgers and are popular food places. Yeah, um, I, like, I don't know... <clears throat> I don't know what any of the other, uh, like, pairings are, um, offhand, but I know, like, um... Uh, like, they might have done, like, Socrates and Voltaire, who were both philosophers, right? Um, or you might get, um, you, you might get, uh, what, what's his name? Um, is it Ben Franklin that did electricity? You might get him versus Tesla. Cause, cause of the, cause of the electricity, right? Um, Sorry, we're trying to get this guy to, like, bring this up more. How do I get this fucking thing to blow up? Or am I supposed to... You slash the eyeballs, and that's how they pop open. Okay, I think... I think I have to actually ride that elevator down now. Oh, shit. Whoops. That's a big whoops. <laughs> oh, look at her swimming up the fucking stream. That's great. Good to dog paddle. Gonna get to the top. <laughs> All right, you. Oh no. Oh no. What are happened? Oh no! Oh, what do I do? It's oh shit! Uh oh. Oh damn it! I had it. Missed it by that much. You're supposed to come all the way down, buddy. All the way down. No, come on. There we go. This is... Where I'm supposed to go, okay. Uh, I got the door here. Boy, I just love this job. It makes life worth living. I recently added a special mechanism to the door. Now it's really hard to open. Sight of people trying with all their might to open the door makes me laugh my head off. Really? It's super hard to open, is it? Mm -hmm. I want... Oh, okay.
two, three, four, finisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of the sky, clown. Oh, and I think I got a demon fang out of him. The kite guys don't like the wind. I guess that makes sense because it would blow them all over the place, which is what I was thinking when I tried it. Okay. I added this mechanism to the door. It's so hard. People are so stupid. Yeah, sure, bud. What's with this iced statue? No wonder it's so chilly in here. This is no ordinary chill. It's kind of creepy. I bet there are monsters nearby. Be careful. Bone wheel lips. Or, or lip wheel skeleton. I don't know. One of the two. Lip wheel mouth roller. Call it that. Yeah, yeah, you get fucked up, huh? Did you eat it? Did you eat the shit like I asked you to? Oh man. Oh, I guess you suck, huh? Is that... Oh, he's got a pipe in his beak. Okay. I thought he had, like, one of those party blower things. Like, you know? Those, whatever they are. Party duders. Uh, this phoenix is only a statue, right? I mean, it looks like it might take off at any moment. Hmm. Okay, one, two, three. Ba -da -doo. Yeah, that's a bird. Uh, clearly a bird with a pipe in its mouth, right? As birds are known to do. You know, they fly around really high, they, they shit on people's cars, and they smoke from their pipes. Birds notorious for having lung cancer. Sealed away by the dark forces, I've spent years in this cave. Time passed, but I was a block of ice. Now your power has lifted the curse. Or in layman's terms, melted the ice. I, Moegami, god of the flames, lend you my power. It's her power to begin with, dickbag. I mean, lend you my power. Not you returning it. Because it was on loan. Wow, never expected to find a brush god here. We got a powerful ally just when we needed it. Yeah, it's almost as if it was designed like that. Like if this was a video game or something. Oh, it's crazy. Moegami is the most fearsome of all the brush gods. It also sounds like the most bitchy, kind of. I get kind of an attitude coming out of this one. The technique known as Inferno reduces almost anything to ashes. Too bad it needs a fire source to start off of. It actually doesn't reduce anything to anything because it can't produce fire by itself. You gotta place your brush on a source of fire and draw a line. Power of fire will surge into the line, creating an inferno. But actions speak louder than words, so just fucking do it. And then he repeats the line of dialogue again, like I didn't read it the first time. You've already done that one a million times. Yeah, but I started over here with the red.
We'll make crispy critters out of snakes' underlings. Yeah, let's do it. That power of fire. Wait. Wait, no. Wrong way. I mean, that was kind of the main reason we came down here, but also... Wait. No, wait, no, this isn't right. This is where I came from. That's the exit. This is the exit, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fire. Whoop. Hey. All right, you. Do you go down, or do you? Does this go up automatically? No. It's been so long since anyone stopped by, I was worried the crank was going to rust from lack of use. Well, let's crank it up. Oh, okay, so you talk to him and he'll do it. Is there anything underneath? No, that's poison. That is a big batch of poisoroni. Hmm. Well, this is nice, I guess. All right. What the fuck? Yeah, like there's no way that fire didn't melt shit. Oh, hey, and it shortcut me back here. But I didn't get any ingredients out of there. So that sucks. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do in order to break these guys. I sort of lucked out last time. Oh. Oh, come on. Blow him up. Yeah! Man, that one just popped entirely. Get at it. Yeah! Oh, I love that they just explode into a cloud of money. Hey, we got the lips of ice. Chewy lips used as an ingredient in Orochi's appetizer. Is that supposed to be a hot lips reference? Is this, is this like a joke about hot lips? I'm not a fan of hot lips. I think my mom is. Yeah, aren't they supposed to be like waxy? All right, where is a fire? A fire, ooh, there's a thing. Bo 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 bo. Bo bo bo. Bo. Let's see, that's the kitchen. This is where we already went, but if I remember, hold on. We already, yeah, we already did everything over there. We needed to get through that ice 
the eye thing in order to get into the door, right? So I don't have to worry about going and doing that. Oh, oh, it locks you in here because of this. Okay. It assumes that you need this to get up. Even though I have a shortcut here. Okay. In here now, right? There we go. Whoops, who was it that broke this bridge, huh? Why don't you... Why don't you, why don't you not be such a fat dog, huh? What the hell was that about? It froze like it was gonna do something and then it didn't... Yeah, and it's sturdy now, so I don't have to worry about breaking it. Alright, this has got to have another one of them hearts in it, right? Another ingredient? Oh, that's going to be the eyeball. You watch. We already have the ogre liver. We get the cold lips. What, the flaming eyeball? Why didn't it cut? Was it on too much of an angle? Oh, wait, hold on. Let's try... What does a wind do on that one? <clears throat> Doesn't do anything, okay. It seems like it might have made this one dizzy, though. Well, since you're flame, yeah, since he's made of fire, I can blow out the fire. Okay. So wind will work on that one as a floral finisher, but not on the other one. Do I have to hit it with a bomb, maybe? Eyeball of fire. And, ooh, Neato. Hold on a second. Hmm. Wait for it. There we go. Can I? No, that's not going to work. Damn it. Hey, is this like... No, it doesn't open up from above. So... Hmm. There's gotta be something I can do to light that. Like, open the doors. Start there. No, that didn't help. Because it wants to go sideways and not like straight through. Hmm. Oh? That was Orochi, no doubt. Sounds like he's hungry or something. Oh no. Maybe he couldn't wait for his appetizer. Has he eaten Kushi first? I mean, maybe? I don't know. Doesn't really matter until we finish this dungeon. I mean, it's not like we can just, like, go there and check it out, so... Decimated! What the hell? Is 
Is this what I think it is? No, I don't think so. No, I thought maybe, like... Oh, no, I'm not sinking. Skull dunes don't play with the ball. As well as sand. You better be careful. Don't play with the ball, huh? But what if I wanna? What if I explicitly want to play with the ball? Yeah, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do that. But that's how I did it. Okay. Ball. Hold on. You, what do you do if I cut you? Oh. Huh? Thought I saw a path for a second when the sand blew by. Okay. So I guess that's where the ball go. Can I... Oh, it is a heavy ball. Wow. It is a heavy ball that doesn't actually care about its own mass. Okay. Now let's go. go straight across. That. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, son of a bitch! Ah, uh, damn it. Of course. I was worried about it just stopping. Um, or like the, like the, when the sand disappears, I was worried that this would just like fall off. It's going straight for the hole. And of course, me trying to fix it has resulted in this. Oh yeah, go straight off the edge, why don't you? Again. Oh, I swear to Christ. And like, I have to push it this way. Fucker, man. Oh yeah, no, right into the hole. That's the direction I was aiming, totally. Now go straight over. Get in that fucking hole. It's your home. It's where you- No! Go in the hole! It's your fucking home. Oh, why don't you want to go in your home? You obtained Moon Cave map after I'm already like halfway done with it. What a shit place to put the map. For real. Okay, now what? Oh, you're a merchant, huh? So I guess those flame orbs are active now. Obtained incense burner. Here for a snack or something during your break? Well, take your pick. Just don't try to stiff me. Oh, he would have sold this if I didn't buy it from the other guy. Interesting. 
Well, he's got nothing I want. Oh, shit. Hey. Okay. What is up here? Anything? Did that do what I thought it did? Uh, I don't know where that's supposed to go. Oh, hey. It's these things. <clears throat> there we go. Danger, do not use the cannon. It's out of order. Guess I should change my title. Yeah. Isan, the guy who ignores shit. How about you let me in there? Let me all up in that cannon. It looks like it's not actually doing anything. I can't get in it from that side. Can't do anything there. So, how about? <clears throat> no. Do I want it to fire at the wall behind me? Oh, there we go. That did it. And it has stopped rotating, which means I can't... Uh... God damn it. Since it stopped rotating, I can't shoot behind me and try to break the wall in the corner. <clears throat> God damn it, why is this like this? Fuck off. <sighs> this is what busted out, right? Yeah, spawn in just to get your ass kicked. Come on. I don't know what to use on them. They've got drums, so maybe... Whatever works on the yellow guys might work on them as well. Except I haven't figured out what works on them yet either. Damn it, I'm trying to cut you. There's nothing in it. Jeez, if this doesn't scream boss fountain. Do we have anything up here? That's like... There's gotta be a fire in here somewhere, right? What the hell is that? Oh, that was a pickup. I see. Okay, so, hold on. I can probably... I can probably get that to light something down there as well. If I can get it... in the same... Yeah, no, I don't think so, though. I can't just jump up there 
and take yeah you can't take that out but I wonder I can blow it I can blow it where it needs to go haha <laughs> wind power Look at that oh god it's real slow isn't it And I guess it needs to go this way too. Okay. Oh god, it's not gonna be in the camera, is it? I can probably get that one on the ledge. But the one to the left of it, yeah, it's behind a thing. right there. Oh. Oh, it wants me to, like, get up to it, and if I don't, then it refreezes. Okay. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Good jump. And this looks like it's where I'll get the last ingredient. So let's do battle with these jackasses. Two. Oh. Too late on that one. There's the demon fang. Okay, can I... Did that work? No, bomb is not the right floral finisher. And black demon horn. We did it. We found all the ingredients. And I think we only missed one thing in here so far that's not like... There's a couple things in the lobby area there, but like... Uh, I think if we go... If we go back over here... Can I not get in there now? What's up with that? What's up with that? Okay. Give, give me this. There we go. Kutani pottery. Dish that is elegant design features beautiful etchings. Melt that shit. Golden peach, nice. And Where does this actually take me? Oh. Okay, so that's like all of that stuff dealt with. Boing. I didn't realize you had to press the button to, to make it go. Swim. Swim, Bobby! Straight across. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Nice. Okay, yeah, let's get what's in this room here. Because hopefully, since we turned on that orb... Yep. We turned on all of the orbs with that one. Exorcism slip L. 
Does great damage to opponents. Obtain Steel Fist Sake. Nice. Anvil Horns. Okay. So I think that's this place cleared out now. We should be able to make the, um, the appetizer and then go see Orochi, I think, if I'm remembering this correctly. Let's start down here. Excuse me. Up. Do, 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 do. You know what I'm going to save here before we go giving our stuff to that guy. And yeah, we'll just save over there. Now saving. Don't turn off the console. Boom. Okay. What are we doing? You know what? I'm thinking this is actually where we're going to call for today because... Uh, the next set of sequences, I think, is going to be a while, so um, we'll come back when we've got more time for it. Where's the exit button? There it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back and do more of this when there's time to do it all at once. So, uh, we'll probably come back... Monday, I think? What's today? Tuesday? Yeah, so next Monday we'll play this again. Some more of it. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday. We got Art tomorrow. We got Shaman King Thursday, Friday. And we got DK Saturday, Sunday. So it's going to be a week with stuff to look forward to. Or not. You know, it's your call either way. Uh, oh, I got a cold shiver all of a sudden. Uh, I feel like I had something to leave you guys with before I sign off, but I got nothing. Um, so yes, thank you to everybody who came to hang out today. If you were here in the chat or the archive, wherever you are, thank you. It was real cool you uh, spending your time here. I appreciate that. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed whatever we did here, and we'll come back for more. And until I see you guys here again... Stay inside and stay safe, stay hygienic and clean, take it easy, and I will catch you all next time, okay? Alright, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!